to play in, uh, in Paris uh, and I love the crowd. Uh, you know, reaching the, the two Grand Slams final is, it was really big for me, but you know, finally winning a big, a big title in Bercy, uh, it, was, it was very special to me. In the beginning I thought of, of not playing because I had fever and I didn't feel well, but then I decided to play and then you know, it was easy because I said, yeah, I'll, yeah, I just give it a try and then I'll see what happens. If I don't feel good, I just walk off the court. But I think it helped me a lot because I was so relaxed. I played for fun and it was, it was really fun. And after the first round, I felt I still have some, some power in me and, you know, it, I give it a go. It's just a couple of matches and I remember for every match I played better and better. Coming to the final, it was a totally different feeling. I felt now I reached the final, now I, I felt much better. I was not sick anymore, so I couldn't blame anything. And then I remember just before the, the first point, you know, my, my legs were, were shaking almost. I really didn't want to lose three big finals in a row in Paris. Of course, it's difficult to play against a Frenchman in, in Paris, but I played, I played Lodra in the, in the semis, I saved match points the day before, so I was pretty used to it. There is something different with the prestige racket. I mean, uh, it's, it's really tough to explain. I think you have, to, you have to try it yourself to really understand the feeling. But if you look at all the way from the beginning, 25 years ago, you see so many good players, even so many world number ones using the prestige. And uh, of course, you know, it feels great to be part of this team. I started to hit with the racket in practice and then it took me maybe two or three shots to really feel that this was the racket for me. It was, it was just a great feeling and you know when you feel something like that it makes you so happy. Mm -hmm.